say refugees are welcome here. We have had unprecedented abuse and denigration of refugees and migrants over the years and it has reached a crescendo with this European referendum. But what we need to be saying is we will not tolerate the demonisation of refugees. We want this country to fulfil its international obligations. It is a shame on this country that refugees are forced to live in squalor in camps in Calais and Greece. It is appalling the way the countries of Europe want to turn their back I was able to visit Calais a few weeks ago, I was able to visit Greece last month and the conditions those desperate people are living in bring shame on the European family of nations. And I know that one of the important things about this demonstration today and it's worth repeating it, is that we are rallying against racism, against fascism, against Islamophobia, and also against anti-Semitism. Because you know, the left has been in the forefront of the fight against anti-Semitism almost from its beginning. And in my part of London, in Hackney, we fought the fascists in Cable Street years ago. So we will not take lectures from right-wing newspapers that supported Hitler before the Second World War on fighting anti-Semitism. We have always done it. We will continue to do it. And finally, let me say this. One of the things I find so distasteful about the negative propaganda about refugees is that without refugees and migrants, London could not be the great city it is today. And yet, media and right-wing politicians choose to ignore the contributions of refugees and migrants, like my own mother, who emigrated here in the 50s as part of that generation that helped build the National Health Service. Far from immigrants being a drain on the health service, without decades of migration, we wouldn't have a health service. And let me finally say this, it is a privilege to serve as Shadow Secretary of State for International Development under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn. And I can tell you that there is no court closer to Jeremy's heart than the court of the cause of fighting racism, fighting Islamophobia fighting anti-Semitism and standing up for the rights of refugees. Thank you very much. Be proud to I want to 